hello, um, Omri. Back at art, remember? Remember her? Remember how long it took to, to get to that one little sketch? I'm not gonna... Not gonna... Spoilers for the other pictures I picked. Uh, this one. That'll, that'll be an interesting one, I think. Yeah, I'm not going to get too wound up on the details this time. Or at least I'm going to try not to. I'm just kind of play it loose and fast. I'm going to learn my lesson. I'm going to pick a pencil that doesn't have a texture, a page texture attached to it. And I did not warm up like I said I would. And why is there there's stuff on my okay? Never mind. My tablet's old and dirty. I did not warm up like I said I probably should. I'm just gonna start with a much bigger brush, so it's more forgiving. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just gonna do some study in here. I have been tracing, <laughs> tracing or not? Well, not tracing, like absentmindedly. Um, I've been like drawing over top art that I like. Cause here's the thing. If anyone tells you that tracing is wrong and you shouldn't do it, they're very stupid. Because the truth about art is that we're all trying to solve the same problem. We're all trying to make a 2D thing look believably 3D, whether that's do it cartoony or something else. But that's all we're doing. And I guarantee you, whatever solution you've come up with, Someone's coming up with a better one. So while you're here struggling trying to figure out how to draw a thing, someone's already figured out how to draw a thing almost in the exact way you probably want to draw it. So that's why. You should actually trace stuff because. That's how you actually learn how they solved it. Because when you see a drawing that's really good, you're not... Just seeing, like, n magic. You're seeing... Illusion. Like a, like, a, like a math puzzle. They're just... Some artists just don't... Show their work. And I'm actually going to make this and kind of see what I'm learning from this. The eye, na the eye mouth, nose area always kind of trips me up a little bit. From this, halfway about like the ear. Like the eyes would be in that kind of puts the cheekbone in place and then you have the mouth have this shape okay start with the two circles just my position because I keep shaking my leg With my tablet so I can draw a circle. Just gonna draw a bit slower because my I didn't warm up. <laughs> so my circles are gonna be wonky. I'm gonna circle next to it for the other side of her face. And like last time the threads to the pictures will be in the description. I can't post links, so it'll just be their name. Unsplash. Kind of like of this 
going like that. Have this goes down like that. Like their chins line up. Here we go. And neck. Right, let's do this neck first. I'd like to try to connect the neck at the back because that just gives me more information about the spine. And I like to do like the like a tube through the shoulders to show how they connect where the other shoulder might be. I'm not really worried about the mirror. I'm just trying to focus on her. I'm going to get rid of that line. And I don't really care what this arm is doing. You just leave it flat. And the tube. Okay. I guess I could just gesture it to do a little circle suggesting that there's a thing there. And then go like that. There's like techniques you can use to help mirror something, but I'm not really going for accuracy, just trying to do my main goal here is still getting the face. Okay, well, let's do one piece at a time then. So, you do have the half where the ear is going to rest. You have the indent for the, maybe I should. I'm going to make this a little darker so on the details. I like the space where the eye comes in. Kind of comes out kind of triangular, like a round triangle. The may have moved a little too fast there. Okay, so I have that. The lips, mouth line up with the bottom of the ear. Right, let's try to use the nose to carve out where the eye should be. Make this smaller. And then that kind of, okay. I sort of rest there. You have that line coming down to show that the eye is not a flat object. Mm hmm Can I give her some pupils so she has not creepy empty eyes? Can I use her eyebrows to help? Form her whoopsie. Use the eyebrows to help form the socket of the eye. <laughs> it's like, I guess, 
kind of what's kind of what's happening here. I think it was Sykra that taught me like to link the the end of the eyebrow in a nice little rhythm with the end of the eye. Gonna make it a little more sharper. Mouth usually like there, yeah. Maybe it's too far. I like to build the lips from the center outward. Just gonna, gonna turn that a little bit. Here we go. I'm gonna try to really pay attention to what's happening with the nose here, because it's that, it's that little, it's this little area that I think gives me the most trouble making the lips look realistic she, i made her look vaguely upset <laughs> she has put a bit more of a dare i say a little bit mischievous smile got going on there i say she but i don't i don't know i don't really like using lines to define the lips Okay, let's flip. Oh. It's more of an issue of how big my brush is, but she's looking more up. I think her eyebrows also are farther up. A bit more curved. That all that was too much. Nose might be a little too big. Something about the lips is slightly off. I'm actually gonna make it bigger again so I can just whoop too big. <laughs> sort of like color it in. Like that. I mean, that looks a little weird, but. Mm. And just kind of define it, like really flatten out the corner. That. I think what makes the lips different than the, like the rest of the face is it is how they kind of squish together in the end. Nope, getting a little weird. And the chin. Okay. Maybe her eyes. Actually, I'll bring the bridge of the nose in a little bit. I can't actually see her ear. Going on. I'm just going to soften this up a little. It's not. That was the wrong one. Let's see, okay. Bring this down a little bit. Make this angle a little bit differently to show that the she has like the little cheek. Cheek flap. 
Mm, she's a little bigger than that. Maybe I should have done the guidelines in like a different, something different. Around like that. Maybe her eyes are. I think they're like a little too big, but not bad stylistically. Eyebrows. Now she kind of looks angry. Hmm. No, her eyes are too low now. I do think they need to be moved back. Just a touch. Okay. Okay, I actually, this is kind of distracting me, so I'll get rid of that. I think her lips are a little bit like that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Making more progress than I did last time already. Hope I'm not talking too quietly. And this definitely goes in more. Oh, I have it something selected. That's why it's not doing what I want it to do. Uh, Do, do, do. Love the hairline here. Gonna have this here. Well, it's pretty straight. It's like tucked back in there. Sort of exaggerate. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to take all of this, actually. Make it a little smaller. <laughs> now it looks like a really creepy cutout. I'm going to make this kind of a fatter line because there's like a shadow there. Erase some of the garbagey stuff. Make it nice and clean. Can I go back to the hair again? Okay, so the neck is actually in line with the back of her eye. Oop, it's gonna go here. Nice little swerve to it. Here, here kind of falls in big chunkus. Big chunkus, slightly wavy chunkus. Just gonna give her a little space in between her head and her hair to give some volume. She kind of looks like Jennifer from Black Tower. Oh, I didn't mean to move the canvas so much. Hopefully, it's not too hard to edit. There we go. I want to sort of show how the hair is like, but it, this isn't the best brush for that, but how the hair is sort of coming up. This really isn't the best brush for that because it's all kind of 
mellowing together, but Do a little bit like that. Sort of erase slightly. Give me the forehead a little. Mm, I think I see. I think I see. There we go. Yeah, she needs a little bit. It's not there, but it helps me to picture that little bit of hair behind her. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Neck here. Don't need any of this. And. I could just sketch in the face real, real, real quick. That'll probably be it. Like the mask, the eyebrows. This one's probably not going to be as detailed as the first phase. That's fine. Just trying to focus on shapes. Shape, shape, shapes. And the mouth and the lip. I think sometimes it works better if you just focus on like one lip. I think like drawing the bottom lip or just the top lip. works. That's just me. Again, it's like a stylistic thing. Cheekbone come out. Mm -hmm. You see sort of where hair's going. Probably should bring it down a little bit so it matches the reflection. Use the hair to shape where the neck is. Well, it's not a perfect recreation, but I feel like it's decent enough. Definitely better than last time. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully I didn't move the canvas around too much. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. And I'll see you next time!